Well, this is Bishop R.J. Edwards, and it's indeed a pleasure to be back with you on this radio station. I know that you're going through your tests and your trials at this time when COVID-19, the master plague, is on the land. I want you to know that God will lift you up, turn your life around in spite of what we see. God is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Stay tuned as I go to church. We have been preaching the word of God. Go into the book of Daniel chapter 1. In the book of Daniel chapter 1, it's loaded with information because there's some stuff that's happening in the time that resembles what was happening in the time of Daniel. The Bible here says that the king of Israel was in leadership for three years and at the end of his leadership, at the end of three years, when Jehoiakim, king of Judah, came Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. So you see how the book of Daniel start. The king of Judah was reigning. And at the end of his three years, here came the king of Babylon. So Jehoiakim, all of a sudden, he looked down the road and he saw all of Babylon. You know, Babylon is representing hell. That's what Babylon represents. And this Jehoiakim was serving as a king of Judah. The Jews live there. Somebody in Judah. It's like you're at your house and you pray and I worship God. Then all of a sudden, some people just rise up against you. There are some people here today that everything was all right yesterday. But today, hell just rise up against you. Day before yesterday, everything was good until, until a Babylonian come, come attack you. There are some Babylonians, there are Jamaica, who come to come arrest some of you. Some of you have been in your church shouting your hallelujah and all of a sudden, some Babylonians come to come arrest you. And look in the passage. So here was the, uh, a man by the name of Aspianaz. He was in charge. But the king sent him to come do something. To come take some young men out of Judah. He says that the king spake to Aspianaz, the, the master of the eunuchs, that he should bring certain of the children of Israel and of the king's seed and of the princess, the master of the eunuchs. Come on, somebody. The man who controls some people in a Babylon. He was given the command by the king. Satan has been sending some people and has been giving some people commandment to come into your house. Open your mouth and shout your hallelujah. Open your mouth and shout some hallelujah. Some of you, some of you don't know where I'm going, but there are some people who have been sent to your house. There are some spirits that has been sent to your house. Some of them look like they are humans, but they are not humans because they embodied themselves in people to come to affect your house. Oh, God Almighty, don't you see that you were praying good yesterday and all of a sudden today everything gone bad. This is a preacher out of Spanish town come to tell you that Satan has an assignment because I sent him send somebody come mess with you at your workplace. I sent him send somebody come mess with you at your house. Yes, somebody are coming to your church come mess with you. But I preach today that I'm here to tell somebody that uh, though the assignment is against you, you shall not die, uh, but you shall live. God's anointed. Mm -hmm. Put your hand over your head and say, God uh, anointed me and I'm not going down. I don't care how bad the thing looks, tastes, smells, or feels. Uh, my anointing is strong. I'm covered. Uh, somebody praise Jesus. I'm covered. I'm covered. Uh, God, things might not look all that great, but I'm covered. Uh, circumstances might be in my life, but I'm covered. Uh, I might hold some money, but I am covered. Uh, some of my enemies is rich 
in my life but I'm covered somebody praise Jesus my enemies are in my house some of them are in my bedroom some of them are at my gates oh God but I am covered I'm still a child of God somebody praise Jesus I'm wrapped up so can I remind you that you're still a child of God might not look good but you are still a child of God open your mouth up and declare it I am a child of God so Hashpianai he now went into Judah and followed the king's command to take out some boys out of Jerusalem. And the Bible named four of the men whom he arrested along with others. And who were these children of whom was no blemish, but well favored? and skillful they said here what happened in verse 4 who were they who were these people whom he took away but verse 6 tell you and among these were the children of Judah Daniel Hananiah Michelle and Azariah somebody praise Jesus but look further down in verse 7 of Daniel chapter 1 the first thing they did was to change their name Oh, God Almighty, so hallelujah. After you've been captured, they want to change your name. In other words, after they capture you, they are now calling you names. But whatever name they have called you, that doesn't change who you are. Can I talk to somebody in the house? I, I don't know who called your name since week. I, I don't know what they've been saying about you this week, but that doesn't change who you are. Can I talk to somebody? You are still a man of God. You are still a child of God. Your head is still anointed. Oh God, your cup is running over. Can I talk to somebody? They call your names. But rest assured that that doesn't change God's protection over your life. The Bible said the steps of a good man is ordered by the Lord. Somebody praise God. So let the Babylonians arrest you. And let them change your name. I come back to tell you that they are taking you into a strange land. And a strange situation. But that is not going to kill you. Because your head is still anointed. While you were being captured, you were anointed. And while you are captured, you're still anointed. While you were held as a common prisoner, you are anointed. While you were held as a slave, you're anointed. Some of you feel like a slave, but it's all right. God says, you are anointed. Somebody praise God. Open your mouth and say, my God's anointing is still on me. The Babylonians have captured me. I don't know who I'm talking to. But there are some witches who are called Babylonians. Some people who work up there, they are Babylonians. Some of your neighbors, they are Babylonians. Some of your employers, they are Babylonians. Some of your fellow employees, they are Babylonians. They have arrested you, calling your names. Somebody praise God, chatting about you. But this preacher comes to tell you that whatever they call call you don't change whatever they say about you don't change you you still have God God I feel the anointing you still have the power you still have glory carrying inside of you can I ask somebody put your hands on your head and tell yourself that my head is anointed with oil I'm going to run over I'm going to run over in my community I'm going to run over in my house. I'm going to flow over. Come on in my church. Someone know say, want to start shout loud on the church. I run in the cup, I run over. Because you have some bad minded people in you know, the church, some bad minded people in you know, the community, some bad minded people who follow come to church to see if you are going to shout. But your cup is running over. Somebody says, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me open your mouth and give God some praise 
You know, sister, the Babylonians are going to some bad things now. I come, them come for arrest you. Oh, God, but your mouth must not be arrested. You mustn't change your posture. I said, God, have one on the knees. Still, they pound the knees. Still, open the mouth and shout. Oh, no, hallelujah. In a damn Babylon city. Somebody shout a praise. Witches and warlocks are alive now. They are doing some bad things to God's people. But I come by to tell somebody that you shall not die, but you shall live and you shall shall declare the works of the Lord your God. Open your mouth and praise your God. I feel like somebody is mounting up today like eagle. You're running and you're not wearing. You're walking and you're not fainting. Who the Lord bless? No man can curse. No sooner having no a show. If we're not having a show, shout on a show. Inside of your bedroom, shout your show. Someone at the workplace on the lock on the mouth because on the enemies down the workplace, open your mouth and shout. Shout on a hallelujah. Someone on the church. Some people want to lock up on the mouth, but when the Babylonians must not lock up on the mouth, when they must open the mouth and shout your praise, they mustn't stop you. Somebody shout your praise. They mustn't lock up your mouth. You're a child of God. Wrap up. Tie up. Tangle up in God. Feet standing in an even place. Lift your hand and shout your praise. If you carry a praise, come to church and make nobody shut it up. Me say if you carry a praise, come to church. Don't let nobody lock you up. Open your mouth and shout your hallelujah. If you need this message now, text me now at 378-0382. That's right. Text, not call. Text 378-0382. The mark of the beast is on us. I have the book that I'm promoting. The book that says, Say No to That Mark by Pastor Leighton D. Smith. Hear me. Every one of you need to get this book. Leighton Smith was a good friend of mine. And he wrote this book. Look at some of the other topics that are in the book. The emergence of the one world government. The European Union. Secret organizations promoting the new world order, the coming caste society, the century of the chip, the significance of numbers in the Bible. Don't compromise. Say No to the Mark book is now available at Source of Light, and that's at Hagley Park Plaza in Halfway Tree, or can be picked up at the Lighthouse Assembly Church Office, One Garbally Drive, Spanish Town. Plus text the numbers 378. 0382. And we'll give you directions. God bless you. Now, hear me. Can I give you a revelation? Because I don't preach without a revelation. They will call you names, and you can't stop them. What people say about me, I can't stop them. Can people have mouth to chat? Let them chat. But I read something else in the passage just struck me. And I have to give you this revelation. Because now after them change their name, they want to change them diet. Daniel said, all right, I'm going to call me a name. I'm going to stop you. The three boys are going to call me Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. I'm never stop you. But now you're going to tell me, say, 
me to eat your meat and drink your drink. No, I just say me I'm not going to have a problem. Because I'm not going to eat what I want me to eat. Me not going to put nothing inside of me to defile my body. Somebody praise God. So Daniel and the boys say, no, we are Israelites. A Jew that we come from. And we must give God some praise. We don't want any food for the file with. Because we have to hear from God. There are some food that is being dished out in Jamaica. That is defiling God's people. But hear what I say today. If you only keep your body pure from the food from hell. And stick with God's heavenly food. I feel God feeding some of you right now. You're eating angels food. And because you're eating angels food. You know what is angels food? Glory. Worship. Meditation. Word. That is angels food. But Satan won't pump some garbage inside of your body to defile you. Come on, some of you don't have no testimony. Because you don't eat of Satan's food. Too much. Come on. You know, eat of Satan's meal. Oh, I don't have no praise left. Some people want to shout hallelujah in the church, but they don't have no shout inside of their belly because they eat of Satan's food. Can somebody shout a praise? Oh, God Almighty, Mighty, Mighty. Lift your hands up and shout. Shout your hallelujah. Open your mouth and praise the Lord. I said, open your mouth and give God some praise. Shout your hallelujah. Shout your hallelujah. Hear what the boys them did. Amidst everything. Number one, they changed their name. Number two, they want to change the diet. And number three, they want to change their worship. Lift on a hand. Open the mouth and shout on the hallelujah. Your worship must not be changed. Anytime you find yourself at a place where Satan control your worship. Mm. And you can't speak in tongues like you want to. And you can't shout your hallelujah as you want to. And you can't bust a praise in your house. Your praise has been changed. We come for bust a praise. We want to have praise on the mouth like a two-edged sword. Jesus, somebody. To cut asunder. Oh, God Almighty, kings and nobles. Somebody praise God to mash down some derricks. Which scrap work I have to see you praising God and can't stop you. Live on a hand and bust a praise in another place. What Kasata? Jesus, I feel the glory in here. Can I hear somebody open your mouth up? Give the Lord a praise, a man. Shout your hallelujah. Satan wants change on the praise. You know, see what COVID-19 come with you. A change you want change on the praise. But tell COVID-19, back off. Somehow they not rebuke the thing, you know. That's why the thing won't come pitch down. You know. But the Bible said, no plague shall come nigh thy dwelling. You carry anointing in your belly. Somebody shout a praise, man. Mash down the thing. Mash down the thing. Rebuke it. When I wear masks, you know, when you say people wear masks, still sick. I mean, I tell them to stop wearing the mask. But you must have the power inside of you know, to crush some demons that comes near in the house. COVID-19 is a spirit. You know, she say you can't see it. Come on. You just attract it and you can't see it. Somebody prays, God, enough people it bury. But open your mouth and say, I shall not die. Say, COVID-19, I shall not die. Open your mouth and lock down the thing. Say, I shall not die, but I shall live. I shall declare the works of the Almighty God. 
Open your mouth and prophesy over on yourself. Me now just go preach vaccine. Me have to preach God's divine covering. Me say, I don't want to just preach vaccine in this time. I tell them people who have pushed me for preach vaccine that I don't have a problem if people take the vaccine. And I have no problem with people who don't take it, but me now I go preach vaccine only. Now I go preach about Daniel's God, who surely will deliver demonic spirit from the pit of hell, walking through the place like death angel, with the aim of locking down some people, but you shall not die. I shall not die. I open my mouth and I declare that I shall not die. I shall live. So, the three things that affected the boys was number one, they changed their name. Number two, they wanted to change their diet. And number three, they wanted to change their worship. Ha, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The last two, the boy says, me now go down for the root. Because in this pandemic, I'm going to set up people around my house to watch if me go and pray. On a demonic spirits from the pit of hell has been assigned. Oh, God, arise. God, arise and my enemies be scattered. Mm -hmm. I said, let God arise. And my enemies be scattered. You change my name? Fine. Call me what you want to call me? Fine. But don't touch my diet now. My diet is word. My diet is to meditate. My diet is to worship. My diet is to meditate. Somebody praise God. I will not let None of you lock me down. And then now you come, come tell me, say, you don't want me to pray anymore. I bind that spirit that is over some of you who don't want to pray anymore. That's from the pit of hell. If the spirit come to tell you no worship no more, that's a lie. Open your mouth in your church. Boss of praise. If, I, if it's only you alone, have to walk through the aisles with your hands lifted and your mouths filled with praise. Do it by yourself. But leave church with a heavy anointing. For it's the anointing that shall destroy the yoke and shall set captives free. Open your mouth and praise God. If you need this message now, text me now at 378-0382. That's right. Text, not call. Text 378-0382. This is Bishop R.J. Edwards. I'm taking this time to give you a special invitation to our morning prayer. Every morning, I spend time to pray for people individually. I will pray for you, and I trust that God will bring deliverance to you. Join my page, Bishop Rowan Edwards Ministry. That's Bishop R-O-W-A-N Ministry on Facebook or on YouTube. Every morning, we have our staff who will pick your request and we will make sure that we pray for you every morning between 6 a.m. and 7 a.m. Join me, please. You will be blessed. Every Wednesday at the train station in Spanish Town, the glory of God is literally walking. People are getting delivered. There is such power that is penetrating the train station in Spanish Town. Just ask where to find the train station. We're right there every Wednesday. I will lay hands on you and believe God for your healing and deliverance. If you're having bad dreams, just come. If the enemy is at your door trying to disrupt you, just come. I believe that God can heal your sicknesses 
and your disease. Come to worship, come to bow down before the Lord. Every Wednesday, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, and 11 o'clock, I want you to come on out and experience the raw glory of God at the train station in Spanish Town. Every Wednesday is just glorious. Come and experience it for yourself in Jesus' name. This is Bishop R.J. Edwards, and it's indeed a pleasure to be with you again on this another day when we worship the King. Well, I'm just here to remind you that we are on face-to-face -face service every Sunday morning, beginning at 7 o'clock at the train station, then 9 o'clock at Gobley. Please, would you join us? I'm looking forward to see you. Please feel free to call us or send a text 378-0382. That's 378-0382. If you need to be a part of the service and you're not sure, just text me and I'll advise you further. And also, we are on Facebook, YouTube, and Zoom every morning of the week for our prayer meeting. Please join us, Bishop Rowan Edwards' ministry page. It is always glorious. We start our prayer meeting 6 a.m. every morning, and I'm looking forward to see you. This is Bishop R.J. Edwards saying goodbye and checking out now. But remember, join me next week, same station, 10.30 p.m.